The LG G2 wasn't the best kept secret, but today it became official at a press-laden event in New York. It's got a big screen and it's almost buttonless, but is it any good? Here's what you need to know. The G2 is about the same size and shape as the Galaxy S4. It's plastic, but that does make it nice and light. By far the biggest design feature is the volume and power buttons on the back of the phone. According to LG, it makes using the phone easier and will work for both right and lefties. The new buttons also give you access to the camera, and speaking of which, it's a 13 megapixel snapper with optical image stabilization. Feature-wise, LG has tinkered with the G2's Android operating system, so you get a skinned up Android 4.2 under the hood. It gives you a few handy additions to the stock version, including the ability to turn the screen on and off by double tapping, remove details from text instantly, and there's also a guest mode, which gives you a different selection of apps. It's a great feature for parents who give their kids their phone to play with on a regular basis. The whole thing is powered by a 2.26 GHz quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor, along with 2 gigs of RAM. There's two versions, one with either 16 or 32 GB storage options. There's a big battery under the hood too, which should keep it going all day. The LG G2 will launch in the US and South Korea any day now and will be rolled out to another 130 countries in the next 8 weeks. There's no Middle East price or availability details for now, but we'll update the comments as soon as we know more. For more on LG and the G2, head to StuffMidis.com.